Have you ever wished you could take a trip back in time to see what your life would be like in another era? Well, get ready because the journey begins now. Today we're going back to the 1840s. Life is a lot different. For one thing, there are only 26 states. Milk is 10 cents. And eggs? You can get them for a penny a piece. The majority of Americans live on farms. For a few months a year, kids in rural America go to school in a one-room schoolhouse where students of all ages share one teacher. The rest of the year, boys work around the farm with their dads. Girls help their moms, milking goats, cooking, cleaning, and sewing. So go on, get to work. Thirsty? There isn't much running water in the 1840s. Kids usually haul their family's drinking water from wells. Need the bathroom? Use the chamber pot in your room or go outside to the outhouse. Not so fun in the freezing winter. Life in the 1840s is definitely harsher than life today. But there are good times too. In their free time, young people play. They have checkers, seesaws, swimming, and of course, elaborate games of pretend. Just be home by dusk. There is no electricity, so when the sun goes down, the whole world goes dark. You aren't afraid of the dark, are you? Or maybe you are, just a little. The 1840s are a time of widespread superstition, of ghost stories and other supernatural tales. Is your right eye itching? Oh dear, bad luck is headed your way. Speaking of stories, why not check out the latest edition of the Penny Press? There are lots of stories about life on the frontier. This is the time of westward expansion, which accelerates in 1848 when gold is discovered in California. Thousands of prospectors make the treacherous journey west, hoping to get rich. Across the country, there are things happening that will haunt history forever. For the past few decades, Native Americans have watched white settlers take their lands. Native Americans are viewed with mistrust and often outright hatred. Many are being killed. And in the South, millions of men, women, and children are enslaved. Their lives are brutal. They are bought and sold like property, and they are forced to work with no pay. There are some who want to end slavery. They are called abolitionists. Some of them work to change laws. Others work on the Underground Railroad, a vast network of people who help slaves escape north to freedom. Slavery won't last forever. The Civil War is coming, and soon slavery will be outlawed for good. But that's a time machine journey for another day.